Jody, thank you for your time. Congratulations on the win. I wish I could say congrats on the goal as well, but you tell me what happened. Um, it fell to me at the back post. Um, I think Finney put a good ball in, uh, took a touch, uh, just tried to whip it in the far corner. I think it was going in anyway, but <laughs> Mac is a, he's, a, he's a top goal scorer, do you know what I mean? Uh, instincts, I, f I don't know where it's come off of him, but yeah, it did come off of him. But I'm happy, I'm happy to, I'm more happy with a win, to be honest. Uh, happy to get an assist as well. Uh, Assist is just as good as a goal, you know, but at the same time, it'd have been nice to have a goal, but plenty more to come. These goal scorers, eh? Oh, yeah. I'm happy for him, though, to be <laughs> fair. Like I said, I've not known him for too long, but I know uh, with, a, with a, the, uh, the top goal scorers in the league, I want him to, to win it and I want him to get as many goals as possible. So now I'm buzzing for him. Um, did I see you tweet that Saturday was your first full 90 minutes for 1,908 days? In the league, yes, it was, yeah. I remember my dad messaged me straight after, to be fair. Um, I remember he messaged me, giving me a bit of stick about my first half performance, <laughs> but um, said I was much better in the second half. And uh, yeah, he sent me the, the, the statistics straight after the game and said how long it was because uh, it was back in 2017, um, one game before I did my ACL. So yeah, it was about 1,908 days. Yeah, so it's a, it's a big uh, proud moment for me and my family and for everybody that supports me because a lot of people would have given up, you know. Um, but the family behind me and all, all the strong people behind me, I'm still here. Yeah. Why didn't you give up then? Because if, if a lot of people would have done, why didn't you? Um, I'd like to say I've got a different mentality. Um, and uh, I've got people that have watched me grow grow since since I was a child and they know how much I love football and uh, it would just be disappointing for me to give up and all the people, like my godfather especially, that took me to, to so many games, uh, sacrificed so much, so much of his time for me to just give up, it would be it would be poor, so... Like I said, I love the game and many reasons for my family as well. That's why I uh, stayed strong and continued. With all that in mind, then, how much are you enjoying this right now? I'm over the moon. Like, like I said, um, there's so many highs and lows in football, as you see. In the first half the other day, at half-time, I was gutted with my performance. And in the second half, I came out and I'm, I was over the moon with my performance. Just that, that's just how football goes. So you, you can enjoy the highs, but not too, too much, because there's always lows to come, you know, and I've had a lot of lows, but... Um, Right now, like I said, all I wanted to do when I was at Oxford was to play football and everybody in the building knew that and like I said, everybody that plays football enjoys football but I love football so much and all I want to do is play football and since I've come here, the manager has been absolutely perfect. He's eased me in. I played about 15, then 30, 40 and 90 and then today, 45. I can't ask for much more. Um, with all of that in mind, with what you have been through, and you say you can't, you know, it's cliche in football, but it's it's also a mindset that is is absolutely crucial, I guess, as well. Yeah. Particularly when you've been through as much as you have been in the game itself. How how do you keep yourself on a level when times are tough? Um, when times are tough, uh, like I said, I've been through so much, so I don't think um, my, my my old gaffer, who's really good with me, Mark Robbins, um, he said to me, your mental strength will be top now. There'll be nothing that can make you feel as low as as you was and that's something I've always took on board but like I said if if, if times ever get tough um I've got a one year I've got a one-year-old son uh, mm -hmm. at home who who makes me so happy every single day you know so when times are tough uh, I just get to look at him and smile and it makes me so happy and football's easy compared to parenting sometimes right yeah definitely <laughs> yeah. but like I said I, I, I just enjoy football so much my partner knows that and she's so happy for me that I'm just playing football because I used to go home every day and I wasn't in the greatest of moods but like I said now I'm going home every day and like I'm, I'm just about sleeping because I'm so happy I'm just I'm just here to play football and the gaffer's letting me so I'm just enjoying every single second of it. After 1908 days without playing a full 90 how were your legs on Sunday morning? You want me to be honest? <laughs> Please. I was in big trouble big big <laughs> trouble but yeah like I said I've got good people around me um it was my mum's birthday on the weekend, so uh, she came up. Uh, we went out to eat and stuff. I was very tired, but I still, I still went out to eat. Uh, when I came home, I was just having ice baths, hot baths, just, uh, just making sure I was looking after my body. Uh, the next day, I felt quite bad as well. But like I said, I've been looking after my body, and today I felt, I felt good. This, uh, when I when I came in, I remember saying I don't think I could start another game on Tuesday. But then when when it came today, I just felt buzzing for it, and I just wanted to get on the pitch as soon as possible. Not to get too deep and philosophical on it and everything, but I, I would imagine all of those family occasions are all that much sweeter now, even when you are tired, you can go along and you're tired for that reason. Exactly. Like I said, uh, it, it can it can be a bit selfish sometimes because if I go home in a bad mood, um, it kind of puts my family in a bad mood, my household in a bad mood because that's just how football is and I think every single player would say that. But since the day I've come here, I've gone home in a good mood every single day and it, it just makes me and my family so much more happier. 
Let's hope that this is the, the start of the next chapter then and it continues to, to go on leaps and bounds from here. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much.